how are you? I'm so glad and happy. I'm doing my makeup tutorial with Mary Claire at Cure Beauty Salon. So today's, uh, sorry, April's issue on Mary Claire is all about my makeup products and my makeup routine. And today I'm going to show you live. I added my eye brightener, the Bobbi Brown eye brightener. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a concealer on top of my eye brightener to give me a better finish. And what I usually do is I apply it on I apply it on my hands or I dab it with my fingers. Okay. Now, if you guys want to reduce the your nose size, what you guys could do too is apply here on the sides of your nose, just so that it becomes smaller and pulls it in. Also, I like my lips to be more pushed out but smaller. So what I usually do is, I apply concealer on the side. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is, I usually blend with my blender, but I forgot it. So today we're gonna use my fingers. <laughs> Guys, remember using your hands and fingers is as good as a beauty blender because your fingers make sure that the product sinks in your skin. Now everyone loves this Tarte concealer because it's full coverage but not too thick on the skin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to powder my face with my favorite powder, the Kat Von D. And I just powder the areas that I want bright. If you guys want your chin to stick out, always you put white powder here. Okay. And now, where can I contour? I love this contour palette. It's my favorite so far from Campo and Dean. It has grey tones, brown tones, it has everything. Now, what I also like doing is, I would like I want my cheekbones to stick out, so what I would do is, I would apply a concealer that's close to my skin tone. Like, not as light, because we don't want it to look obvious. And you also blend. I don't like the blush to be somewhere specific. I like it to be all over my face, like I have a like nice tan, you know, not very obvious, which is why I use a fluffy brush, a big brush. Now you guys could use a small brush if you want to put it uh, in a way where it looks natural, but not as in you, got, you have a nice tan and all. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow. I always use the eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay. It's my favorite. But make sure you don't exaggerate so you don't put a lot. Okay, now what this does is it makes sure that your eyeshadow lasts for like ever. And now, I'm sure you guys know all this palette from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the recent one, guys, I swear by it. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use this color, Raw Sina, and just apply it all over my eye as a base. It's brownish orangish, and I would go for such a color only if I know I have a bright base. And my signature eyeshadow is definitely pulling out. Pulling out the eyeshadow because I love long eyes, like catty eyes. I'm gonna add up the contour over here to contour my crease. Now we're gonna go back to the palette and we're gonna use the red oak. It's my favorite and it's so bright. I love that about it. And since the color is a bit darker, we need to lighten it out. So what we're going to do is, we're going to use a lighter tone and a grayish undertone with orange. We're going to add up eyeliner. 
and then we're gonna go to the bottom uh, lash line so we're gonna start with the bottom lash line we'll start off with a really light color For anything, I'm gonna blend my entire face. I'm gonna add uh, the glitter with my hands, the brush. I'm gonna add a coat of mascara. Lipstick's my favorite, always. This is from NARS, it's like a crayon. And we're done, voila! I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, have a nice day.